Hey guys, uh, sorry, this video is coming out really late in the day. Normally I would have released this uh, four, four hours ago or something, um, but I had to go to the hospital, get an infusion. Uh, there's actually a community post talking about that, uh, that if you wanna check that out, I'll link that in the description as well. Um, but I've got a couple of good hours before uh, my body starts to make me feel like crap because of the infusion. So I thought I'd knock out a quick video to show you guys how to set up a remote share in Open Media Vault, uh, both connecting to another Open Media Vault server, as well as an Amber X NAS device. Um, the process is basically the same for each one. Uh, one I've got to use a password for, the other one I don't because of the way I've got security set up on each device. So uh, with all that being said, let's jump over to my desktop and take a look at how to do remote mounting in Open Media Vault. So here we are, uh, I've got Bruce Banner open and I've also got Hal open, which I need to log into. Like so, and then, so on, <coughs> excuse me. I was just at the hospital today, I'm fine, I promise. Um, so um, this is the server that I want to connect to remotely. So uh, down here, you can see that I've got shared folders. My damn, there we go. So I've got shared folders over here <clears throat> and uh, I've got it set up through SMB CIFS. Uh, we can see my shares here also. Uh, you can see that these are wide open, uh, public only guests. Uh, oops, and then if we come back over here to shared folders, um, <clears throat> we can see uh, this is all open and, and whatever. So uh, if we come back over here, uh, I've got, and I've got remote, um, somewhere, remote mount installed on both of these. So <clears throat> if I go into remote mount and I click add, uh, we're gonna use SMB CIFS because that's, that's what I use. Uh, I'm going to call this uh, BB, oops, uh, uh, TV, uh, and that's because Bruce Banner is the server I'm connecting to, uh, and I want to connect to the TV folder. Uh, so in here, I'm going to type in the IP address of that server, which, oops, is 250. Uh, I'm going to do that. And now right here, somebody asked, have you tried leaving a blank? Have you tried adding just a slash, whatever the case may be? The answer is yes, but uh, the problem with that is... <clears throat> Uh, this is just asking for a host name or an IP address, and this is asking for a share. So I can't ne can't necessarily leave it. Um, do, 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 oh, darn it. Let me hold on. I can't leave it blank because it doesn't know which of these folders I want to connect to. So I have to put something in there. So what I'm going to put in there is just TV. Um, <clears throat> it says here, only put in the path name. Um, I have tried it with and without a slash at the beginning. Uh, so sometimes it looks like that. Sometimes it looks like that. Uh, when I've got the slash at the beginning, it just doesn't work <clears throat> at all. So I get nothing there. So uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to leave username and password blank. There, there's nothing. I don't have any credentials. My network's wide open. Dumb idea, but that's how I run things. Uh, here I've got options. <clears throat> These options were there by default. And I'm wondering if maybe there's something else that I can put there. Um, but if I go ahead and click save. <clears throat> okay. <clears throat> so there's that, I'll click apply and I'll say yes. Okay, so now this is, uh, that's ready to go. So I should be able to click mount. And of course we'll have to give this a second to think and do its thing. So that says invalid RPC. So I'm gonna click okay. And what I'm gonna do is just refresh and click reload. <clears throat> and then we'll come back over here to remote mount. Here we can see that it's mounted. So that, that's a good step in the right direction, I think. Now from there, what I wanna do is go to shared folders. <clears throat> I'm gonna click add. I'm gonna call this uh, BBTV again, because I'm, I'm connecting to Bruce Banner TV folder. Uh, the device, um, what I'm gonna do, oh, you know, I wonder. I wonder if I just answered my own stupid, silly question. I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna put that there. Let's try this. Maybe this video won't even go public. Uh, <clears throat> so then we're gonna select uh, everybody read and write. I'm gonna say save. Then I'm gonna come down here to SMB CIFS, add a share, add, we're gonna do this again, this BBTV, public, only guests, save, uh, and then I'll click apply. Then I'll say yes. <clears throat> and I guess while that's loading, what I can do is actually pop this open uh, and then do backslash backslash help. <clears throat> hey, there it is. Okay, so that, that's the error I, I just solved on my own. Uh, sort of, uh, I, I wanna give a big shout out over here to uh, Maslow1 uh, here on Reddit. Uh, dumb question, but are you leaving the field blank instead of putting it? <clears throat> so what I thought 
he was asking, there was something very different uh, than what I was dealing with. So let me, oh, let me bring this back up. What I was doing before, and I want to run through this again, uh, just for the sake of, of uh, demonstrating what I had wrong. Um, and then I'm actually going to make a video about this. I'm going to do add, uh, again, SMB, say IFS. I'm going to do BB, movies. Uh, and again, 192.168.68.250. And then I'm going to do uh, movies. Oops. Movies. All of that is fine. We're going to click save. <clears throat> then I'll click apply. And I'll say yes. This always takes a minute, so we'll just let it hang out and do its thing. <clears throat> okay, so that looks good. So now I'm gonna come up here on this movies. I'm gonna click mount. It may throw an error again. If it does, that's fine. We know how to get around that. Okay, um, great, I don't care. So what I'm gonna do then uh, is I'm just gonna click out and click back. Uh, so I'll just, I guess I'll refresh. Let's see what happens if I refresh and go to mount. So here we can see that it's mounted. Uh, so that's a good sign, That that's good. Uh, so what I wanna do is go to shared folders. I'm gonna click add a shared folder. <clears throat> I'm gonna call this, oops, BB movies. Sorry, my wife's uh, heating some stuff up in the microwave. That's what that noise is. I'm gonna select movies. So what happens right here? <clears throat> if I leave this, this path the way it is, what will end up happening <clears throat> is, if I go back over to here and I go to 250 uh, and then I go to movies, to movies, there we go. So if I leave this as BB Movies right there, it's going to create a folder in here called BB Movies. And that's that's where I was getting hung up. So uh, again, uh, 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 thanks to uh, Maslow1 um, for asking that question, though I didn't understand it at first. Um, I thought it was at the beginning, not the end. Uh, that's, that's where my hang up was. So uh, what I'm gonna do is then uh, delete BB movies. I'm going to put the the path as just slash, uh, and then I'm going to make this. Oops, I'm going to make this read and write uh, for everybody, and I'll say save. We'll give this just a second, and I'll probably have to click apply up here, like so, and I'll say yes. Next thing we want to do is go to SNBCIFS, go to shares. <clears throat> I've got BB TV here, so what I want to do is uh, select BB movies, uh, make this only guests, and then click save, <clears throat> um, and then I'll click apply up here again in a moment, AB, there it goes. And I'll say yes. And uh, then <clears throat> here in a moment, um, hands off, uh, doing my thing here. Uh, it should, uh, once, the, once the background screen goes white, that page is finished loading, uh, the, the file explorer should refresh automatically and show us that new, uh, that new folder there. So, <clears throat> so we'll give this just a second. There it goes, um, again, um, so let's go ahead, refresh that screen. It's thinking about it. So there's BB Movies. <clears throat> if I open that up, there is my full list of movies remotely accessible on HAL. Uh, if I go ahead and open this up again, <clears throat> um, and I do um, backslash, backslash, uh, <clears throat> excuse me, Bruce Banner, and I go into Movies over here, uh, here we can see uh, these, these match up now, 26 items in each one. Um, and then same thing with the TV shows that I shared. Uh, so if I come over to uh, TV, there we go. Uh, so we've got 46 items there and 46 items there. Uh, so that's how I was able to get uh, remote sharing to work between uh, two different Open Media Vault servers. Now, the reality is I think this will work on any sort of device <clears throat> uh, with network shares, uh, whether you need to use your username and password or not. Um, you, we, we, we should be able to do that. Um, in fact, you know what, let me, let me do one more thing here, uh, just because I've got um, a, another device. If I come over to my network, oops, like this, and go to network, uh, we're gonna get a list of every, uh, some of the stuff on my devices. I want this Amber X. So this is a, a 185 is the IP address. <clears throat> so, so what I'm gonna do uh, is I'm actually just gonna go ahead and log in. Um, so we've got this, I'm gonna go ahead and log in here. I'm gonna look at my shares. Um, and the other thing I guess I could actually do it this way uh, is backslash, backslash, do 185. And here we can see I've got home, music, this UMS and videos and whatnot. So uh, I'm just gonna kind of keep this over here. I actually don't need to be in there. Uh, so I'm gonna close this, say leave. There we go. And then I'm gonna go to remote mount. I'm gonna click add. <clears throat> SMB CFS should be fine. I'm gonna call this uh, Amber uh, 
vids. So I'll do 192.168.68, oops, 68.185. Uh, and this is going to be uh, videos. Uh, so let's verify that real quick. Uh, so videos right there. Now I'm gonna have to enter a username and password. Like so, there's nothing in there and that's fine. In fact, let's do this. Let's actually create a new uh, new folder uh, called test in there, <clears throat> just so we can make sure that it's gonna work. Username, I'm gonna put in my username and I'll click save. So we'll give this a moment to do its thing. Again, I'm gonna have to click apply up here and we'll click yes. We'll give us a couple moments to go through and do its thing uh, so that we can uh, make that connection, hopefully. <clears throat> And that time it didn't. Okay, so let's uh, let's try applying one more time. And if not, we'll go ahead and refresh this page and try again. For some reason, uh, clicking refresh on the page and navigating back sometimes works. Uh, so what we'll do is we'll just go ahead and hit refresh. Oh, you know what? I'm stupid. I should hit apply there. Um, so ignore that. I should hit apply. Um, okay, let's refresh again and see what happens here. Let's go to, not that, let's go to there. Let's see if I can mount this now. Nope. So let's do revert and say yes. Oh, you know what, I'm done. Okay. Um, we're gonna cancel that. We're actually gonna delete this. Say yes, okay. All right. <clears throat> so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go to remote mount, I'm gonna click add. Uh, I'm gonna call this uh, Amber X vids uh, 192.168.68.185. Uh, the share is gonna be videos. Uh, username, I'll put in as admin, like so, and we'll click save. Uh, we'll give this a second and then we'll click apply. Say yes. Um, and I got all that information uh, from my network up here. This is the device we're connecting to. This is the folder we're connecting to. Uh, and hopefully when we do that, we should be able to see the test folder inside uh, here on HAL uh, when we look at the remote uh, or we look at the, the network shares uh, on HAL. Uh, so we'll give this a moment to, to think about what it's gonna do here. Okay, so that's good. So and then what I wanna do is click here, click mount. Again, I'll have to click apply up here. Oops. Okay, so we'll refresh. That seems to be the go-to answer for this. We'll go to remote mount. Uh, so now videos here is mounted. So that's good. So what we'll do is go to shared folders. We're gonna click add. Uh, here we're going to call this uh, Amber X uh, vids, uh, the device. Um, is this one right there. That's uh, that's the one that we've mounted. Uh, so we're gonna go ahead and do that. Again, we're going to, uh, we're gonna mount this uh, at the root. Uh, we're gonna change this to everybody can read and write. We'll click save. Uh, and then we'll come down here to SMBCIFS. Click on shares. We'll click on, oops, shares, add. Um, the folder, Amber X vids, public, only guests, save, apply, yes. Uh, so then, <clears throat> To, to do, let's come back over here to Hal. Uh, and again, once the, the background screen turns white, uh, we should be able to refresh this, uh, this uh, uh, file manager uh, screen here. And then we should hopefully see uh, an Amber X vids with a test folder uh, inside. In fact, it automatically updated there. There's our test folder. So now we've actually remotely mounted uh, files or folders from two separate computers, uh, one using a uh, an Open Media Vault setup, the other one just using a NAS setup. Uh, that's uh, that, that random NAS that I used was the Amber X device. I've done a couple of videos on that uh, that you can check out if you'd like to do that. So uh, there you go. There's how to mount uh, a, a remote folder from a different device, whether it's another Open Media Vault system or uh, a, a NAS in this case, like I mentioned, I used an Amber X device, which I've already done a couple of videos on. Uh, they're actually in the process of 
of uh, crowdfunding right now. So if you're interested in picking one of those up or learning more, I will have some links in the description down below where you can pick one of these up for yourself uh, at a deeply discounted price uh, using the special link that they gave me down below. Right now, I think we've sold about 31 uh, using my link. We're trying to get to 50. Uh, we've got less than two weeks left to do that. So if you're interested in picking up one of those Amber X devices, definitely check that out via the link in the description down below. Um, but with all that being said, I'm going to go ahead and wrap this up. As always, thanks for your time. I always appreciate your support and I'll talk to you in the next video. Thank you.